Visit our website for some more home construction tips and advice. Okay, I mentioned laying out anchor bolts at plate breaks and the depth of the anchor bolts. But I also need to mention that you need to lay out the anchor bolts to avoid the studs and the wall framing, especially around the windows and doors. These areas are going to require you to have the anchor bolts in the right spot. I don't know how many homes, I can't count them, all my fingers and my toes were not even close. I can't tell you how many times I've seen an anchor bolt installed in the middle of a doorway or a sliding glass door. Uh, this, this just happens. It's just someone goes in and puts these anchor bolts in a certain spot and it's getting to be more of a problem um, as uh, inspectors and engineers are starting to um, have stricter requirements on anchor bolt layout. So they're not just tolerating building inspectors. If you have a building inspector come to your property to inspect your house and your anchor bolts aren't in the right spot, guess what? They're not going to just pass this up most of the time. They're going to make you fix it. So now um, most of your anchor bolt layout should have been inspected in your foundation inspe inspection. Most uh, building inspectors don't allow you to push the anchor bolts into the concrete anymore. They want the concrete to go around the anchor bolt. So your anchor bolts are going to have to be in position before uh, most inspectors will allow you to pour the concrete. Now, laying out for your windows and your doors and your structural um, shear walls. This is very important. Um, wouldn't be a bad idea to have your framing contractor do the anchor bolt layout. And this is going to need, to, you're going to need to check with your framing contractor um, before signing any contracts. Feel free to visit some of our other websites for more helpful tips on home construction and remodeling.